Dayton schools tonight hoping to cash in on the latest budget from Governor Kasich. Christian Hauser takes a look at how much the district could see and where parents would like that money to go. Dayton City Schools like Edison behind me could see more cash and resources coming their way if Governor Kasich's budget is approved the way it is. But many other schools in the area will see little to no change and some will even see less cash coming their way. I think it's doing good, great. I think this school is really doing great because I have a little first grader here that she's reading. You know, she's doing real good. Governor Kasich's budget would give Dayton City Schools back-to-back 6% -back increases over the next two years. But where should all that cash go? I would like for Dayton Public Schools to boost the learning system for, them to, uh, for the ones that are hard of learning, because I have a grandbaby that is a hard of learning. All the parents we talked with somewhat agreed with Dolores, and they wanted to see more teachers and more programs. We're working on a process where we allocate whatever resources we have to the classroom so that they benefit the young people of the community. Jones says the district's biggest expense is in teachers and faculty. We're looking at allocating people where we most need it. So schools that have the lowest performance and have the greatest need are where we're looking at allocating the dollars. But other districts are losing out compared to what they received last year. Beaver Creek, for example, will be down nearly 15% over the Not next two bad. years from what it received last year. Remember, we're just in the first quarter when it comes to the final numbers for this budget. We still have a long way to go and a lot of numbers to crunch before the final budget is approved in June. Reporting in Dayton, Christian Hauser, ABC 22 News. So where does your school stand when it comes to this money from the state? Just go to abc22now.com to see the numbers for yourself.